Now, before you start creating any formula on your own, it is important that you understand the concept of syntax. Syntax basically helps you understand the structure of an expression and the various components or elements that make up that expression. If you understand the syntax well, you can easily create your own formulas with a combination of various functions and other required components as per your requirement. Let us look at an example here. Total sales equal to sum of sales, sales amount. Total sales is the name of the measure. You can give any name of your choice which conveys what the DAX formula is all about. In this case, the name suggests that this DAX formula will compute the total sales amount. Equal to Every formula starts with an equal to operator and returns a result. Sum Sum is the function that is used to perform the aggregation of the entries in the sales amount column present in the sales table. The sum function or for that matter every function is followed by parentheses within which the arguments for that particular function are passed. Each function requires at least one argument. Now this was a very simple example of a syntax. A more complicated formula will have more components to itself to perform the required calculation. We will be looking into many more such formula throughout the course. Now let me quickly take you through the data sets that we will be making use of throughout this course. So the data sets that we will be using are calendar.csv, customers.csv, productcategories.csv, products.csv, productsubcategories.csv, returns.csv, territories.csv. The sales.xlsx file that you see here is a consolidation of the files in master sales.zip. You can download all these from the resources sections of this lecture. Along with these, you will also find a daxformula.pbit file which is a Power BI desktop file which already has the files imported and the relationships created. So once you have all these files downloaded, you are ready to go ahead with the demos. So here you can see that all the data sets have been imported to the Power BI desktop. And here under the model view, you can see the relationships that have been created between each data sets. So let us first go to the customers table. So you can see that the customers and the sales table are connected using the customer key. Now, if you look at calendar and sales, they are connected with the date and the order date. And then there is also an inactive relationship between calendar and sales with the help of date and stock date. Next, the calendar and returns table are connected using date and return date. Then the territories and the sales tables are connected using sales territory key and territory key. Territories and returns tables are connected using sales territory key and territory key. And then the product categories and product subcategories tables are connected using product category key. Now when we look at sales and products table, they are connected with the product key. Products and product subcategories tables are connected using product subcategory key. Products and returns table are connected using product key. So you can replicate these relationships once you have all the data sets uploaded to your Power BI desktop and then we can get started with creating DAX formulas.